welcome back to Oakland, California. We're here bringing you the back nine of the Hills course, Local Route for Life. I'm Joseph, that's John. <laughs> we are excited to be here. Back nine of what was a pretty fun, it felt kind of chill, but it was a very birdie heavy uh, front nine. Yeah, these guys are really tearing up this course right now. The back is a little bit more tricky though. Um, we've got Bell, who's still in the lead. I believe he's got the lead by two strokes at this point. He's been holding it down all weekend. Yeah, absolutely. He shot five down so far. We've got FaZe, who shot seven down on that front nine. And he's brought himself to within two strokes of Bell in second place now. Birdie holes six, one through six. That's right, one yeah. through six. Proctor, who is, he's shot five down, similar to Bell. He's two strokes behind FaZe. And then Chris Bates is still within range. He's now two strokes behind James Proctor. That slow-mo makes me think he plays a mean metal guitar. <laughs> I think he... That's a really good point. Right? I would love to see that, actually. I don't see any of these guys playing a mean metal guitar. Yeah, keep it dark, you know? Yeah, that's all we ask. Just keep it dark. So here we are, hold number 10. This one's big downhill shot. There's no OB on the left, there is on the right, and there's the road and beyond is OB. Players are averaging about 3.3 on this one, so it's a difficult hole as a par three. And not, not easy to get that bird. And it's so much fun to watch a disc being thrown on this mm, hole. It's like, it just, take your time, disc. Just work your way down there. <laughs> it just stays in the air for so long. It's awesome. Wonder if any of these guys can like get it there. Get oh, it there. for sure. They can definitely get it there. It's all about that angle, right? And that looks nice. That's gotta be it. Damn it. Oh, still like a little short. Yeah, not quite pin high, but it is tricky. You don't want to like get too weird with it and end up off course. FaZe hangs it out pretty far to the right, and it is holding straight. You need to chill out, chill out, chill out. Oh, oh okay. Stay safe. Woo. Nice. Thanks, Just Woo. safe. And he's going to have a nice long upshot there. Let's see if Chris can correct. And that's probably a bit too high to get there. Yeah, he probably sacrificed some distance on that, huh? But stay safe for sure. And knifed in. Yeah, so now you've got this tricky upshot where you've kind of got to run at it and you don't want to go too far. You very easily could. His his parks up nicely. Oh, he wanted that one. But it stays. Let's see if Proctor can get that bird. Yes, nice. James. Thank you. That's a good get right there. Yeah, absolutely. Gaining a stroke on the card. And probably on the field. That's true. He's coming in under average. Yeah. See, that 3.31 average is uh, based on just this tournament, what all the open players did. We had about 40 players, mm -hmm. which we've determined, if we're statisticians, is not the best sample size, but it's not meaningless, you know? I wouldn't say small sample size. It's like medium sample size. We aim to bring you only like the best, most reliable numbers, and you know we just have to be honest about things like sample size. I know you guys are out there, Karen. Yeah, and nope. we want to just be straight about it. Karen's out there. <laughs> Karen cares about sample size. <laughs> Hole eleven. It's a par four. And you got to get under these trees at the end. You got to avoid the green, and no OB to the right. So uh, keep it straight. Throw long, and you can get there. Proctor mashing a probably a putter or something out there. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty nice. That's pretty much all of 500 feet right there. Proctor cranking a pie tin <laughs> on a hyzer and just letting it flip. Yep. Throwing at 450 feet. I think just uh, just getting over that green is is uh, about 450. So, dang. Yeah, these guys are about their business. Yeah. Yeah, these are nice shots. The 
And one thing that we changed too is that they're throwing off of the entrance road, which uh, we needed to do because the whole area around there was just soaking wet from all the rains that had come in before. Oh, yeah. A bunch of players would just mash that up, huh? Yep. Ooh. Hit some kind of like invisible branch coming off of that. It was visible. I, I saw yeah. it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> it roll it right. back. You'll see it. <laughs> All right. Yeah, everyone roll that back and identify the branch that hit that disc down. Unfortunately, it's going to leave him with a tough putt. Proctor makes a nice run at it. Yeah, and all these guys will still be collecting a birdie here on this par four. Let's see if Chris can get his. Oh, man, he just, he's like right on line with the basket every time. He just doesn't have the level. Like it's either low or high. That's kind of what makes the difference whether it's going in or not, huh? Yeah. <laughs> That's some will say. He's got the left, right? <laughs> but but not the up down. Yeah, that's 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 a problem I have a lot too. Well, moving on to hole number twelve, a big uphill shot, not too far. You can kind of go underneath the trees like the drone is, or you can go over, and a lot of people do. However, if you do go over, you've got to contend with that uh, shrubbery on the right-hand side, which can block your putt. Yeah, I was very curious if these guys were going to try to hang it way out or just shoot it up the gut. We know what Proctor's doing. You know, every time I say I think I do, they go and show me. Whoop, there he goes. When you're uphill and you're trying to like look at what they're doing so you know what to do with the camera, it's like you kind of watch where they're looking, you see how they're lining up, and then you just take a guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's nice. That's right there. Nice. Oh, Faye's taking the lower route, and... Yeah, he parked that. He smoothed it. Bates takes up and around, but just clips that tree. And he's going to have that putt that we talked about with the branch in the way. Those pine needles are small, but they they take the oomph off of it, unfortunately. Yeah. He lost some distance. Oh. Yeah, right. Just a little bit low. I think Bell... Yeah, Bell and Faye should be collecting birdies on this one. Everyone else will par. So, again, uh, those two guys pulling away a little bit here. Yeah, we got we got Bell at 14 down. So he's got three strokes on Faye. So he's at 11 down. Proctor's... Right. Faye's will be at 12 here. Oh, my bad. Yeah. So we got Matt Bell at 14 down. Faye's at 12 down. Proctor at 10 down. And Bates at 6 down. So we got the lead card. We got some good competition going. Anything can happen here in this morning round. And don't forget, we still have the second round of the day, the Bay Course. Mm -hmm. Hole 13, this one's a tricky one. You got to get out of those trees and then up the fairway as far as possible and then take your upshot onto a slope there. Uh, not easy to reach with the narrow window there. Yeah, the, the window here from the tee box makes you keep it pretty low. Unfortunately, we don't want to go that low, Matt Bell, but he knows. He knows that. I don't have to tell him that. Yeah, and that's the uh, the popular hyzer route there on the right-hand side. Just finding the open space there. Yeah. Oh, Proctor tries to get there, but I think he just is a little bit low. I might have clipped that tree there. We didn't catch it, so. I think he caught the tree. Yeah. And forehand. I like the flick as the choice there because you can release from nice and low. That's true. Yeah. Hey, yeah. I didn't. I actually, I was like wondering why you <laughs> do a forehand. Joseph there. made a decent point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and that's not quite going to get there. I think he had some tricky footing on that throw. And Proctor also throwing off of a slope here. See if he can recover from that first drive, get back up there and save some par at least. He's going to leave himself a little bit left. Did the distance work pretty well, though? Mm -hmm. And Bates here, he's, a, he's got a chance here to gain a stroke and parks it. Nice work, bud. Yeah. Phase 
series. Pretty simple there. Yeah, it seems like it's probably in his range. Yeah. See what James can do with this longer putt. A little bit downhill. Mm. And we did miss uh, an upshot there from Matt. He's pretty close to the basket. You'll see him sh shortly here. Chris taking a birdie here, and he hasn't gotten one in a while, so that must feel good. Nice, Mr. Bates. Yeah. Mr. Bates. Yeah, be careful there. Mr. Bates. Yeah. And uh, James getting his par. And going for the like, blind uh, putt. Bell's going for the blind putt. Come on, do it, man. <laughs> oh. Why you got to toy with us? I know. Yeah, that would have been one of those moves where you're like, ah, really, guy? I really, For real? I really wanted to see him do it, though. Like, if he had done that and made it, that would have been awesome. I want to see it off the tee pad here on hole 14. We're going uphill just a bit. Not too far. We're only at 318 feet. And you see that this was one that uh, a lot of the open players were able to get birdies on. Mm -hmm. Let's see what our lead card can do. I suspect we'll see one or two. Yeah, for sure. And Jeff opting for the forehand. Going to leave this one a little bit right. And hopefully not in the blackberry bushes there. Those are prickly. Yeah. And Bates with a casual forehand. That looks yeah. great. Low, more direct route. It looks like he got right there. Mm -hmm. Bell hangs his out, gets a little hyzer. And you know, we're, leading, we're lending some debates. credence to the idea that um, one person does it and everyone follows here. Possibly. This one feels like a pretty obvious flick choice for these righties, but who knows? Yeah. Fair enough. Oh. Just a little left, I guess. Yeah, Bates not happy after that one. Understandable. Mm -hmm. Sorry, bud. Yeah. Bell gets his birdie. And actually, as we're looking at where phase ended up where it's pretty nice yeah yeah where um a couple of you guys ended up it looked like maybe they were further than what i originally thought these were pretty these relaxed all, putts i mean they're exactly pin high <laughs> right that's pretty good proctor's like whatever yeah. i just get birdies yeah onward yep on to i think one of more fun holes here big old it's a valley, basically, that you're throwing across. 414 feet. Baskets perched up there. This one did move a little bit uh, to the left from where it was last time. Yeah, these guys probably aren't going to have too much of a problem finding that high ground on the other side. No. Am Division might have gotten trapped down in the goalie a bit, but well, there's these some, guys. There's some OB on the right-hand side. All of that rough on the right that Matt's throwing over right now is OB. Mm. But that, if it makes it the right Cart. distance, it's very nice. Yeah, that's great. He put that about 30 feet long, I think, too. Yeah. Is Proctor going to clear that stuff? Come on. Oh, oh yeah. it looks like he's clearing that stuff. Yeah, he's going all the way over. Looks like side. he's aiming at B Cam Joseph over there. No turn. Yeah. But, Man, you know, he cranked that. Just didn't quite get the turn that he wanted out of it. Yeah. Love the shape of that shot out of Bates. Yeah. He ends up like pin high, maybe a touch short. Yeah, giving himself a good look. And Proctor wow. laying up, I think. <laughs> yeah, it looks like he's good for par. Yeah, that's not that's not one you want to run right there. Perhaps not. Oh, just short from Jeff. A little bit short here. That makes it. He's got no it. No problem. Man, I should have thrown a freaking Doesn't seem too back. happy, but this is definitely one you gotta gotta expect the bird on. Oh no. Hmm. That one looks pretty darn good. That's <laughs> unfortunate to see. Yeah. yeah. He's having trouble around the basket. His his drive has been great. Bell gets his birdie. That putt was coming in just a little shy. Only barely tickled the chains, but fell in the basket. No mm -hmm. problem. Yeah, it's a basket's giving one back to him, maybe. Yeah, and moving into the final three holes of this round here. 
Hole number 16, so you can go right down the pipe like our drone is, or you can go out and around to the left. There's no OB on this hole, um, just kind of a tricky technical one, and uh, you can see that the field is not getting too many birdies on this one. It looks like Bell's going for the roller. Hey -o. Big old sky roller, and it's rolling down. It's like it started to turn the wrong direction just a little bit. Yep, and looks like you just caught it there. That's pretty fun. Not too bad, not too bad. Um, phase, same thing. Oh. And that's nice. Yeah, he's curled in the right direction. Yeah. Still a bit short, is that right? Yeah, yeah, but he'll, he'll have a putt at it. Yep. And Proctor... Also going for the roller. I th our our power of suggestion right conversation <laughs> feels like this this needs another chapter to yeah. it because like three people in a row just all going for the, well, the also, roller from the outside is surprising. It's also just not doesn't seem like the obvious choice to me. Like this seems more like maybe what I'd expect these guys to do like a big old sky. Any, I mean, I guess it didn't quite get there, but. I don't know. We can probably all agree, like, it's kind of a technical hole. It's, mm -hmm. I mean, to get in that birdie territory is going to take some doing. Yeah. And, yeah, and you've got plenty of rough to deal with, even if you do end up with that nice window. And this is kind of a tricky one. He's got to go up that left-hand window and doesn't quite get it mm. there. Faze has a good chance at it. Oh, just leaves it a bit right. Yeah, not quite the putty was looking for. Mm -hmm. Well, so it looks like a... Well, Let's see if we can catch all these pars. Oh. Fortunately, unfortunately, Bates is not going to get his par on that. Yeah, but I think that would be the first bogey of the round. Wow, yeah, on this card, <laughs> first bogey. That's yeah. wild. Um, hats off to this crew. They mm -hmm. are bringing it. Yeah, nice par. Super stylish. You can wear this thing on the course, off the course. You let people know you're representing disc golf out there when you're wearing shirts like this. Also very soft, very comfortable. I feel like I'm wearing silk in this and it's cotton. How did they do that? Moving on to hole number 17, long one. And the basket is now up on an extended pole, a little bit higher. And that whole path going around the whole green is OB. Green is OB as well. Yep. So they got work to do. It's uphill, 514 feet. But you see that the average for our open fields, they managed to get some birdies in there. Yeah, plenty of birdies. So this one's definitely getting, definitely one of the easier par fours, I believe, on the course. Faze left it a little bit right, and he may not be able to see the basket. The thing about this hole is you want to end up on that left-hand side. So you can see the basket from up there. If you go to the right, um, you're on that slope, and you may not be able to, to kind of mm. properly gauge the distance. Right, right. And that one's pretty high, but I believe it does stay safe. And he's going to probably give this one a run, is my guess. Right there. Yeah, it's a fine looking approach. And like you said, FaZe might not have been able to see the basket, but he lined it up. That's he did perfect. it. Ain't yeah. no thing. Yep. Now, Bell was coming off of the tour, right? He uh, traveled over here for the tournament. Yeah. I kind of wonder if he had like a little bit of the casual Friday vibe rocking those board shorts, or is that <laughs> just like his regular tour garb? No, he's going to go for a swim later in the lake, so, you know, he just wanted to be ready. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Oh my God. And nice yeah, I do like those shorts, though, I have to say. Oh, it's like a little, it's like a vacation below the waist. It's yeah. beautiful. 
<laughs> <Jimbo Lewis. laughs> that sounds like it could mean other things too. It's kind of uh, like an urban dictionary I feel bad sort of thing. Through Chris missing his putt though, that was that was too bad, man. Uh, he probably doesn't mind a little distraction on some of that, you know. I think so. Jeff getting the birdie here, and I think Proctor already got his. Matt will probably clean up for his. Chris taking a par on this one. And on to the final hole of this second round of play. Mm, nice oh, smooth morning round. Oh, faked us out there. He's having some hijinks around the basket. I feel today. like we're going to see some comments on that. We're going to get into some like hair splitting rule kind of stuff. Yeah. Anyway, let's talk about hole 18. This is kind of a crazy one. Look at it. We are going like down, downhill. Yeah. It's one of those ones where you wonder, what the hell do I throw? And, and most people are going to like throw something like a putter, a mid range. Sometimes the occasional like stable driver to do the work. You see, even the drone has to work to get down to that <laughs> basket. I like the 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 hyzer approach with like some kind of some kind of stable just thing. Hang like it out and, and let the disc out. sort of like overpower your. Yeah, because you know where it's gonna go. Whereas like when you're throwing a, for me at least, throwing a mid range or a putter straight at it, it's like I just feel like a danger zone. That's true. It I mean it takes finesse. However you do it, like. Of course, everybody can throw it far enough, and then some. And you That's see, nice we're throw. we're ending up a little short and yep. left on these first two. Yep. What's Ooh, Proctor going to get into? Now he's straight for the green. Yep, stays stays off it by a little bit. Oh yeah, that's nice. Okay, I thought he was on it for a second. All right, let's see what Chris can do here. He's lining it up wide right. It looks like. Let's see how that flies in. I think we're gonna like nice. this one. Oh, yeah. Tombstones it. CTP, I think. Yep. All these guys have putts, so it's not like anybody ended up too bad. No. Yeah, no one ended up OB or anything, and there's plenty of it to run into on the left-hand side here. Yeah, I, oh. I did see lots of people throwing them where it kind of sawed it off, and then it just ended up, like, hyzering out way too far left. And there's either – it's, like, very rough or it's just straight OB over there. Oh, don't do that. Faze so catches a sad roll. No one's birding this one so far. Oh, just Ooh. off the top. Oh, nice save from FaZe. Come on, Chris, let's get this one. Boom. Nice. Yeah. Catches the only birdie on hole 18 to finish out on this lead card. Yeah. And there's a smile. <laughs> Very nice. So these guys earned their lunchtime. They get a little break here, and they're going to hit it for that afternoon round. Mm -hmm. And it looks like we pretty much wrapped this up, even though we're closing out these tiny putts. We've got Matt Bell at 17 down. Jeff Faze at 15 down, James Proctor at 12 down, and Chris Bates at 7 down. So we got to see a little bit of movement there, but Matt Bell is staying on top. Yeah, he does stay on top on, throughout this one. He, he loses, I think, two strokes overall on the lead that he had at the beginning of this round, right? Because I think he was at uh, 7 and the rest of these guys were at 3. So. True, true. So yeah, but uh, you can see all these cards look really clean. Uh, Matt with... Uh, five down overall, uh, phase with five down. This is just on that back nine. I mean, uh, phase put together an amazing 12 down on the Hills course. That's right. <laughs> and I mean, when you see the card from this nine and the previous nine, this morning round for our lead card had one out of the whole thing. There was just one bogey. Yeah, one bogey on 18 holes. So if you see these guys That's out crazy. there in the world, just, you know, give a little tip of the hat. Not going to read all these names because they're moving too freaking fast. <laughs> but we've got a lot of folks under par. A lot yeah. of people just having fun being out there, hopefully. Yeah. Probably and a few people are unhappy or whatever, but, you know, it's beautiful out there. So come on, guys. Yeah, and you see a little separation there at the top. We got Bell, FaZe, Dallas Albright, and Mike Paremba for our final round coverage. All right. Two new up. guys on the lead card. We've yeah. seen Dallas in some of our coverage before. Yeah. Um, and we all know Mike. So that's pretty exciting, in fact. I love that guy. One thing to mention is that he is still tied with James Proctor. 
and their PDG and Humpers. Both of these guys are in the like 30,000s. Paremba's was like 33,000 something and Proctor was like 34,000 something. <laughs> really close. Just edged them out on yeah. PDGA number. And Proctor, it's, it's been fun covering you. We, we'll yeah. miss you on this last one, but uh, you yeah. know, I'm sure you'll be doing some good work there, even though we might not see it the same way. That about wraps up our coverage of round two. We'll be moving into the afternoon round on this Sunday, watching these guys compete for another 18 holes on the scenic bay course here in Oakland, California. Uh, we're going to have major views, some really fun holes to play. You guys are going to love the finish. Hole 17 and 18 are just absolute beasts. Yeah. Yeah, those are fun to watch. No kidding. For Local Route Productions, Joseph and John saying, See ya. Out there. <laughs> <laughs>